everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I diffuse my hair and get some volume and definition with my new Tymo hair dryer so definitely stay tuned guys I do hope you love this video I hope you enjoy the result definitely be sure to give a thumbs up and let's just get right into it okay so when I do my normal wash and go routine I normally start off in sections so this is the last section that I'm gonna show you guys and I pretty much used this combo before so that's why I didn't really show you guys my full process because it's already in a previous video which I will have somewhere above go check it out so once we have this section down we're just gonna go ahead and wet our hair and for me y'all know my roots is real thick so we gotta make sure that we not drench our scalp or drench our roots but we want to make sure that it has more than enough water just that way when we go to add in the products that gel doesn't like suck the water up right away so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do and then we're gonna brush that water through like so So once we have that water in, we're gonna go ahead and spray that section with our restorative spray and this is by Main Choice and then take your brush and just brush that through. And like I said in my last video, I really like doing it this way because then it kind of like the restorative spray, it kind of like creates a, uh, a, like a soapy type feel to your hair, but it's not, it doesn't make your hair soapy, but it kind of makes it feel like you added soap to your hair. I don't know how to explain it, but it works. So then we're gonna go in with this amount of leave-in conditioner I know it's not a dime size, my hair never takes dime sizes of anything, so I pretty much just eyeball it. Y'all know the routine, we don't do dime sizes over here, that, that doesn't work for us. Okay, so apply that conditioner throughout your hair. So this is my extreme wet line gel. We're gonna go ahead and just put that all throughout my hair. And we're really working that gel into our root section because again, it's a little thicky thick. So yeah. All right, so once we have our hair styled, we have our products applied, this is what it looks like, as y'all can see. So we got some curls here. They real cute, they real defined. And my roots, <laughs> my roots, okay. So this is what my hair is looking like. I am on kind of a time crunch, so that's why I said diffusing my hair today. Kinda gotta do it, okay? So like I said, blow drying my hair, I am going to use a diffuser just so that way that heat can be distributed evenly and no like one section or part or strand of hair is getting only direct heat. So it's gonna distribute the heat evenly and yeah, it's gonna make that drying time a lot quicker. As you guys seen throughout the video, there was a box behind me and this is for the Tymo Hypersonic Professional Hair Dryer. This is Tymo's newest hair dryer and this came at the perfect time because I gotta go, okay? So we're gonna diffuse our hair and again, thank you Tymo for sponsoring another video. But really quick, I'm just gonna show you guys what is inside of the box. All right, so first things first, when you open the box, the first thing that you notice is obviously the hair dryer, as you guys see. But we do have the blow dryer here, and this is what it looks like. It does have three buttons here. So one of them is the on and off button. You have the temperature button, and you also have the fan button. And what I really like about this is because y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, the naturals, we have to blow dry our hair, and it, sometimes it takes some time so if you're using like a heavier dryer then your arms is gonna hurt okay y'all know the struggle y'all know when y'all go to diffuse or blow dry when you even straighten your hair your arms hurt so i definitely know y'all know the struggle because i go through it so what i like about this blow dryer is that it is very lightweight so if i was to hold this up to my head it literally weighs nothing i feel no difference as opposed to just me holding up my hand 
but it's only 295 grams which is less than a pound so i don't think it would be that bad if you need to diffuse your hair for a little bit longer if you're on a lower heat setting or lower fan setting the next thing inside of the box are your attachments so this is the attachment that i'm going to be using today y'all natural y'all know this is the very handy diffuser you also have your styling and your smoothing nozzles that you can attach and what i really like about this i love how innovative it is because it is magnetic you don't have to worry about trying to attach it and it keep coming off they are magnetic unlike other dryers that i've used in the past there's also a little booklet that has the instructions in it y'all know the instructions are important but y'all know we don't read them so really quickly it's just going to tell you guys exactly what comes in the box and what attachments you have and how to work it what to do how to do it but yeah, all right, so since we're blow drying our hair, the part that really matters is the blow dryer and the diffuser itself. So this is how it attaches, just like that. All right, so to turn it on, we're just gonna go ahead and click this button right here. This is the lower silver button. And you guys, all right. So when you have the diffuser on, as soon as you plug it in, you guys can obviously see that there is an LCD screen there. As of right now, it says off to let you know that the blow dryer is in fact off i'm a technology person it may not look like it but i love technology i just love how technology progresses so the fact that they added an lcd screen onto a blow dryer that is really cool so it does have four different heat settings and it does have three different heat speeds and the lcd screen will tell you exactly which setting you are on just so that way you guys can know but upon turning it on like i said this button is for the power button this is for the temperature and this is for the fan speed so you can select any of these options and it'll reflect here on the screen so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on i'm gonna start diffusing my hair and we're just gonna get right into it Alright, so after diffusing my hair for a few minutes, I would say it took me about 12 minutes to diffuse my hair. My hair is about 75 to 80 percent dry. Everything pretty much is dry except for my roots in some areas, like the length of my hair. They they are all pretty dry, and I'm still shocked that it is still defined because some parts of my hair does not stay defined after I diffuse it. So I am still shocked that it is defined. Like, look at that. <laughs> But after 12 minutes, this is what our hair is looking like. As you guys can see, it is still very much defined. And I did use the lowest heat setting and then I was alternating between like the cool button, which if you guys did not see the cool button, it is on here. You have that, we couldn't forget about that, okay? So we have the cool button here and then like I said, I did the lowest heat setting. So I did start off with the lower fan setting and then I went up to see how the second fan setting is and it was fine. So you can go up one or two, just so that way you guys can see which would work best as far as your drying time and how your hair is reacting to that amount of air pressure that it's being hit with. Yeah, this is typically how I diffuse my hair when I am short on time and I don't wanna wait for it to air dry because my hair takes forever to air dry just because I do have to add a little bit more gel especially in my roots so my roots will take probably like a day and a half to dry in total but the diffusing it definitely made it so much more quicker the only thing that I have to wait for it to dry as of right now is the roots everything else is fine everything else is dry let me know what you guys thought about this dry because diffusing for only 12 minutes and I'm about 75 to 80 percent dry everything is dry except for my roots that is that's pretty impressive because typically it would have taken me a lot longer with a regular hair dryer. So definitely let me know what you guys think on that. If you would like to try this hair dryer, I do have a link in the description for you. But yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. Again, like I said, I do hope that you love this video. If you found it helpful, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.